In this video tutorial, we're going to create a studio light setup and for that purpose, I'm going to go to the by shapes and select teapot and draw in it. Now I can see my teapot is here, but it's less detailed, so I'm going to increase the segment. For that purpose, I'm going to go to the modify panel and increase the segments approx 12. I think it's uh, pretty cool. It's looking like a smooth. And another thing, I'm going to decrease the size, decrease the radius of the teapot. Now it's good. Select the box and for creating a studio light setup, apply a box on the teapot and the camera as well. Camera is uh, used to focus my main object. And here I'm going to select the camera. Select camera option and the camera and the target. Take to the upside. If we go to the perspective view, so I can see from the every angle. Just select the box, editable poly, convert it. Take the polygon and delete the extra polygons. By that you can take, you can have a background and the floor of my studio light setup. I'm just going to adjust this. I think uh, increase the size from here, yes. Okay, select the edge and select the edge. Apply chamfer just to create some smoothness. Increase the segments of chamfer and uh, select all the horizontal edges connection and approx two segments apply a mesh smooth modifier to create a smoothness right that's pretty good go to the render setup right click assign render and select video advance go to the another setting right click switch to all expert mode and just take these kind of render settings. GI is a radius map, preset, low quality. And in the end, come to the settings, not this one settings, and increase dynamic limits 4000 approx, check local threads. And okay, now the next step is the material editor applying shading, select video material. And I think red color is good. Yeah. Increase the reflection and decrease the value of glossiness is uh, approx, so I guess 0 0.9. I think is enough. Now apply the shader to the back wall again with the material and apply the color, suppose dark gray a little bit. In the end, light setup video lighting and video light from the top viewport I'm going to apply this and take to the on side select the target and apply the target on the teapot just take the render and you can see I can get a very beautiful render with a proper reflection a great studio light setup well, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Just subscribe my channel if you like this. Thank you so much.